Hello again everyone, this is Dr. Vaughn. Happy Saturday. I'm here to show you today another tool that you can use uh, throughout the rest of the class and especially here in chapter 8 uh, for making plots and graphs of functions and so forth and then importing them uh, pretty easily into Microsoft Word. The equation editor is great for formatting equations, but it's not so good for making plots and graphs. So there is an add-on uh, software. It's called WinPlot. You can just do a Google search if you want for WinPlot. I'll also post a link for the download up into the classroom. I will warn you that when I downloaded WinPlot just today, it comes up with a little bit of a warning, like uh, there's a security risk in doing this. So if you are uneasy doing that, please know that I am not asking you to download this particular piece of software. However, I did download it today through all the security warnings and uh, my computer is having absolutely no trouble with it whatsoever. It's not infected with any kind of a virus or anything else. So it's here on my desktop. It's called WinPlot. And the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, open up the WinPlot software you, so you can kind of see what it looks like. So uh, it always comes up with this little tip. You can actually turn these off if you want. And so here's your kind of main window for working with WinPlot. So the example that I have for you here is we're actually going to graph uh, an inequality. Uh, minus 2 is less than x is less than or equal to 3. And an example of this might be uh, to display the domain of a function. Maybe there's a function that's only defined for values between negative 2 and 3, not including negative 2 and including um, uh, 3. So I have all the directions kind of mapped out here. Um, and actually, I have an example of what it's going to look like down here at the bottom. I can post these directions up into the discussion board as well, and I probably will accompanying the video when I post the link for it. But let's walk through it very quickly. So the first thing we're going to do in WinPlot is go and open up a window and the two-dimensional um, option as opposed to a three-dimensional. So here's a coordinate axis grid. And I'm going to just move the instructions over again. Again, hopefully the window is, is big enough that you can kind of see this as we switch back and forth. All right, so then we're going to go to View, Grid, and then click on the axis. So you notice that this has both an X and a Y axis. If we're going to graph the domain, I only want to see the X. I don't want to see the Y. So I'm going to go to View and, tech, and go to the Grid option. And under these little radial buttons say, I don't want to view both axes. I only want to view the X axis and then click apply and then close this window. So now I only see the x-axis in my window. So the next thing I need to do is to draw the line segment that corresponds to the domain of the function. If you remember it goes from minus 2 is less than x is less than or equal to 3. So I want to draw a line segment that goes from minus 2 up to 3. So I'm going to go to equation, segment, and do an xy line segment. And I'll put in the coordinates for the x as being um, the, the negative 2. The y is just 0 because I'm not looking at y anyway. The x, the second x, the bigger one, is going to be 2. And the second y is also going to be 0 because I don't care about uh, the uh, y's. I'm going to choose a pen width of about 3 to give the line a little bit of thickness. And I'm going to check this box that says points to show the end points of the line segment that I'm drawing. Notice you also have some options here for dotted and dashed and solid. So when you get into two-dimensional plots and you want to do a, a line segment and you want to shade one side or the other, perhaps a linear inequality with two variables, um, you can do this as a dotted or a dashed line or as a solid line using some of these buttons that are on here. So I'm going to just click OK. And here's our line segment. And I also got this little pop-up window that says inventory. So in this inventory window now, what I want to do is actually change the style of the dots because um, if you remember, the negative 3, oh, I got this backwards, didn't I? Negative 2 and positive 3, and I went from negative 3 to positive 2. So let me just um, see if I can edit these points and go back and put the negative 2, which I'm supposed to for the x1, and the positive 3 for the x2. There we go. Got it fixed. All right, so now I'm going to go to the left end point, the negative 2, and notice that x is bigger than negative 2 but not equal to. So I need to make this an open dot. So I'm going to go to the, um, the option that says edit on the end point that's negative 2, 0. And under this, I'm going to just change it from a solid dot to an open circle, and I'm going to give it a little bit of diameter, make it a larger dot so we can emphasize whether it's open or closed in this case a dot size of 6 and click OK. 
So now you've got this big open circle. Remember the open circle means up to but not including that particular value. Now I'm going to fix the right endpoint by clicking on it, saying edit, and this one I'm going to leave as a solid dot because we do want to include that endpoint, but I'll just increase the dot size to a 6. So you've got an open dot over here at negative 2, a closed dot over here at 3, and this is pretty much what I want to display into my window. So uh, you can't really get rid of this inventory window, but you don't need to. The other thing you can now do is click over into this window, and you can play around with resizing this to exactly the size that you want it to be. So you, you can make it as big or as small as you want. And when you have the graph looking exactly how you want, you can go up to the File menu and say Copy to the Clipboard. Or you can just use a Control c And then once you have copied it to the clipboard, you can go into your Word document. And down here at the bottom, we already have one copy of it. But I'll just go ahead and find myself a blank space on the page. And I'll do Control v for a paste. And there's the new graph that we've created. So you can create graphs fairly simply over here in WinPlot and then copy and paste them into your Word document. And then you can do your homework. You can do two-dimensional graphs. You can do three-dimensional graphs. So uh, I hope that this has been useful to you. A very brief introduction to using WinPlot for doing simple graphs and importing them into Word. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again soon.